So how can you be backing or excusing the evil legislation that's being signed in this earth and trying to back Barack Obama when he's signing things that's demoralizing our country? Abortion. Brother, abortion. Is that right or wrong? Is that right or wrong? It's to the point where you don't even think about it. You have to think about that. Hey, brother, it's wrong. At one point, you was a fetus. If they decide to abort every child that comes into this earth, there's no more life. Abortion is murder. That's in the commandments, thou shalt not murder. So these doctors that, that, I don't know how you call them these murderers, doctors, that are killing these, these babies. They're not doctors. Doctors are to heal people. They're here to heal. They're not here to kill. They're not doctors. They're murderers. But Barack Obama says a woman got a right to choose. That baby should have the same choice. That baby is more important than the mother or father, believe it or not. That's the, that's the next generation. How can a woman make a choice to kill life? That's not her choice. What's wrong with this world? And get it going. But hold up though. We're the ones in the wrong. Because we're saying that the most high creation should live. We're wrong. That's how twisted America is. We're wrong by telling you that the most high's creation is perfect and should live. We're wrong by telling you that according to God, it's adverse against nature for a man to lie with another man and a woman against another woman. Even the animals know better. They know better. You don't see no male dog hanging out with another male dog. They slip each other, then fight. You don't see a male turtle trying to get with another male turtle. You will have, even, in, even, even the king of the jungle, which they call the king of the jungle, teach you even better. You have one lion and about ten lionesses. The female lioness will be hanging out with each other more than the male, but they'll never deal with each other. When it's time, they'll get with that one mate. The animals are smarter than humans, man. What life comes from homosexuality? And we're wrong by saying this? And you know what makes us sick, man? It makes us sick when people try to compare the civil rights movement to homosexual rights. Our people did not die in civil rights for homosexuality to, to be born in America. For this place to turn into Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? Our people didn't die for that. I'm going to try to put, put homosexuality in the same vein as the civil rights of a people. When homosexuality demoralizes a country. That's what it does. It demoralizes the country. A lot of you don't even know the spirit that comes with homosexuality. And see, this place got that activity from Rome, man. Rome was known for freakisms and all types of wickedness and homosexuality. Claudius, Caesar, was dealing with homosexuality or what they call bisexual. Where did they get these names from? Bisexual, asexual. That's not the Bible. It's male and female. Claudius Caesar, Caligula Caesar, Caligula. Caligula was messing with that rat, messing around with animals and everything. So they got these freakisms from Rome. They set up a new Roman Empire with a Senate and a Republic. And they're practicing the same evil, morally, morally decay decayed laws they practiced in Rome.
before the most high wounded drunk. What spirit come with that? I'm going to bring that out. Because some people think that homosexuality is just a choice and what people do in their own bedroom is their business. That's what they tell you. How you doing, sister? What you do in your bedroom is your business. You know what? If you ascribe to that type of understanding, then we wouldn't know you were homosexual. If you was just in your bedroom. You ain't all over the place with that. Marching down the street with rainbows and all types of stuff. Putting mascara on and marching down the street in your underwear and wearing women clothing. You got men running around with women panties on. That's not your bedroom, man. That's so, so that everyone can see it now. It's, it's not right. Here's the spirit that comes with that. Homosexuality spirit. It's a deeper spirit than just the sex part of it. There's other spirits that enter a being that decide to be homosexual. And I'm going to read it out of the New Testament, out of the Bible. And if your churches are right, every preacher in this land needs to read this chapter in their churches. You preachers, if you're seeing this, read this chapter and get it together. Read the 20th verse, read Romans 1 and 20. Romans 1 and 20. Well, the invisible things that come from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even as the eternal power and Godhead. Even the things that are the things that are seen are evident by the things that are made. The invisible are evident by the things that are made. Male and female made he them, which is the image of God. For in the beginning, the Most High made Adam and Eve. That was not a mistake. That was perfect. Read. So that they are without excuse. And the Most High made it that way, so you are without excuse. So that you cannot say that the Lord made me this way. That, that you have some guy talking about their woman trapped in a man's body. What type of mess is that? You got women running around. Saying they're men trapped in women, women's bodies. No, the Most High did not make a mistake. You can't tempt the, the Most High can't tempt a man or woman to do evil. It's what you call demon possession. That's what it is. It's a spirit that's telling you, trying to make you hate yourself the way the Most High made you and love you. It's a spirit in you telling you, you're not good enough, making you hate the Most High's creation. Don't blame it on the Most High. Blame it on the possession. It's a possession, something in you that's having you hate your hate you hate yourself the way the Most High made you. Statistics when it comes to uh, suicide is through the homosexual lifestyle. A lot of you don't even know that. They be killing themselves, man. The spirit be driving them, the same spirit that made them hate themselves from an early age, be driving them to destroy themselves. A lot of these people are sad, they're depressed. And the Most High is calling them to heal them. Yet the church is making excuses for them to keep them in that state. The Most High is trying to heal them, to repent, and calling them to repent. But yet they'll continue to make excuses for that evil, wicked demon that tried to pull them into hell. Finish reading Romans 1 and 21. Read. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like the corruptible man. And to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things. Therefore, God also gave them unto uncleanness through the lust of their own, own hearts. So because they did, they, they did not want to follow the Most High, the Most High gave them up to an uncleanness of their own heart. The Most High gave them an opportunity to come out of the homosexual lifestyle. But their heart was wicked and evil against the God of Israel, against the God of the Bible. 
Then what? Read. It's the New Testament, mind you. The preacher should be reading this. Read. To dishonor their, their own bodies between themselves. So they started dishonoring their own bodies between themselves. Doing what? Who changed the truth of God into a lie. They worship and set the creature more than the creator. So now you turn the truth of God into a lie. Now you're worshiping man more than the Most High. You'll believe Darwin before you believe the Most High now. You'll, be, you'll believe a homosexual son.